Andrea Gibson. Hello, everybody. Um, years ago, I was reading a book, and uh, in the book I read that it is a fact that if right now you were to press your heart close against my heart, eventually our hearts would start beating at the exact same time. We are that powerful. I read that in the same place that I read, when two violins are placed in a room, if a chord on one violin is struck, the other violin will sound that note. If this is your definition of hope, this is for you, for the ones who know how powerful we are, who know we can sound the music and the people around us simply by playing our own strings, for the ones who sing life into broken wings, open their chests and offer their breath as wind on a still day when nothing seems to be moving, spare those intent on proving God is dead. For you when your fingers are red, from clutching your heart so it will beat faster. For the time you mastered the art of giving yourself for the sake of someone else. For the ones who have felt what it is to crush the lies and lift truth so high, the steeples bow to the sky. This is for you. This is also for the people who wake early to watch flowers bloom. Who notice the moon at noon on a day when the world has slapped them in the face with its lack of light. For the mothers who feed their children first and thirst for nothing when they're full. This is for women. And for the men who taught me only women bleed with the moon. But there were men who cry when women bleed, men who bleed from women's wounds. And this is for that moon. On the night she seems hung by a noose. For the people who cut her loose. And for the people still waiting for the rope to burn. About to learn they have scissors in their hands. This is for the man who showed me the hardest thing about having nothing is having nothing to give, who said the only reason to live is to give ourselves away. So this is for the day we'll quit our jobs and work for something real. We'll feel for sunshine in the shadows, look for sun rays in the shade. This is for the people who rattle the cage that slave wage built, and for the ones who didn't know the filth until tonight. But right now we're beginning songs that sound something like people turning their porch lights on and calling the homeless back home. This is for all the shit we own, and for the day we'll learn how much we have when we learn to give that all away. This is for doubt becoming faith for falling from grace and climbing back up, for trading our silver platter for something that matters, like the gold that shines from our hands when we hold each other. This is for your grandmother, who walked a thousand miles on broken glass to find that single patch of grass, to plant a family tree where the fruit would grow to laugh. For the ones who know the math of war has always been subtraction, so they live like an action of addition for you. When you give like every star is wishing on you and for the people still wishing on stars, this is for you too. This is for the times you went through hell so someone else wouldn't have to. For the time you taught a 14-year-old girl she was powerful. For the time you taught a 14-year-old boy he was beautiful. For the radical anarchist asking a Republican to dance. Because what's the chance of anyone moving from right to left if the only moves they see are NBC and CBS? This is for no becoming yes. For fear becoming trust. For saying I love you to people who will never say it to us. For scraping away the rust and remembering how to shine. For the dime you gave away when you didn't have a penny for the many beautiful things we do, for every song we've ever sung, for refusing to believe in miracles because miracles are the impossible coming true and everything is possible. This is for the possibility that guides us and for the possibility still waiting to sing and spread their wings inside us because tonight Saturn is on his knees proposing with all of his 10,000 rings that whatever song we've been singing we sing even more. The world needs us right now more than it ever has before. Pull all your strings Rings. Play every chord. If you're writing letters to the prisoners, start tearing down the bars. If you're handing out flashlights in the dark, start handing out stars. Never go a second hushing the percussion of your heart. Play loud. Play like you know the clouds have left too many people cold and broken, and you're their last chance for sun. Play like there's no time for hoping brighter days will come. Play like the apocalypse is only four, three, two, but you have a drum in your chest that could save us. You have a song like like a breath that could raise us like the sunrise into a dark sky that cries to be blue. Play like you know we won't survive if you don't, but we will if you do. Play like Saturn is on his knees, proposing with all of his 10,000 rings that we give every single breath. Y'all, this is for saying yes. This is for saying yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so I, um, 
I read the happy one first. That may have been a, a bad idea, but <laughs> here we go. I wrote, I wrote this poem many years ago in this city, and when I, when I wrote it, I had no idea that I would be reading it as long as I have been. I hope to stop reading it very soon. <sighs> Eli came back from Iraq and tattooed a teddy bear onto the inside of his wrist. Above that, a medic with an IV bag. Above that, an angel. But Eli says the teddy bear won't live. And I know I don't know, but I say I know. Because Eli's only 24, and I've never seen eyes further away from childhood than his. Eyes old with, a, with, old with a wisdom he knows I'd rather not have. Eli's mother traces a teddy bear onto the inside of my arm and says not all casualties come home in body bags. And I swear, I'd spend the rest of my life writing nothing but the word light at the end of this tunnel. If I could find the fucking tunnel, I'd write nothing but white flags. Somebody pray for the soldiers. Somebody pray for what's lost. Somebody pray for the mailbox that holds the official letters to the fathers, mothers, sisters, and little brothers of Michael 19, Stephen 21, John 33. How ironic that their deaths sound like Bible verses. The hearses parked in the halls of the high school recruiting black, brown, and poor will anti-war activists outside Walter Reed Army Hospital scream 100,000 slain as an amputee on the third floor breeze forget-me-nots under the window pane. But how can we forget what we never knew? Our sky is so perfectly blue, it's repulsive. Somebody tell me where God lives, because if God is truth, God doesn't live here. Our lives have seared the sun too hot to live by. There were ghosts of kids who are still alive, touting M16s with trembling hands while we dream ourselves stars on Survivor. Another missile sets fire to the face in the locket of the mother whose son needed money for college, and she swears she can feel his photograph burn. How many wars will it take us to learn that only the dead return? The rest remain forever caught between worlds of shrapnel shut his body of three-year-old girl to welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? The mortar of sanity crumbling, stumbling back home to a home that will never be home again. Eli doesn't know if he can ever write a poem again. One third of the homeless men in this country are veterans, and we have the nerve to support our troops with pretty yellow ribbons while giving nothing but dirty looks to their outstretched hands. Tell me what land of the free sets free its 18-year-old kids into greedy war zones, homes them like missiles and returns their bones in the middle of the night so no one can see each death swept beneath the carpet and hidden like dirt each life a promise we never kept jeff lucy came back from iraq and hung himself in his parents basement with a garden hose the night before he died he spent 45 minutes on his father's lap rocking like a baby rocking like daddy save me and don't think for a minute he too is in collateral damage in the mansions of washington they are watching them burn and hoarding the water no senators sons are being sent out to slaughter no senators daughters are licking ashes from their lips or dreaming up ropes to wrap around their necks in case they ever make it home alive our eyes are closed america there are souls in the boots of the soldiers, America. Fuck your yellow ribbon. You want to support our troops? Bring them home and hold them tight when they get here. Um, my thing says, please wrap up. So I think I'm going to read. I, I was going to read one more poem, um, and that was going to be ultra... Um, queer, but I think this means please wrap up. Doesn't it mean wrap up? I think I, uh, <laughs> what, what, what is the rule with it? Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I can't get off the stage without being gay. Here we go. <clears throat> Bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da-bob-da
Buy me a ring that will turn my finger green so I can imagine our love is a forest. I want to get lost in you. And I swear, I grew like a wildflower every hour of the 50 years I was with you. And that's not to say we didn't have bad days. Like the day you said, that checkout clerk was so sweet. And I said, I'd like to eat that checkout clerk. And you said, honey, that's not funny. And I said, baby, maybe you could take a fucking joke every now and then. So I slept on the couch that night. But when morning came, you were laughing. Yeah, there were times we were both half in and half out the door, but I never needed more than the stars on your skin to lead me home for 50 years. You were my favorite poem. And I'd read you every night knowing I might never understand every word, but that was okay. Because the lines of you were the closest thing to holy I'd ever heard. You'd say, this kind of love has to be a verb. We are paint on a slick canvas. It's going to take a whole lot to stick. But if we do, we'll be a masterpiece. And we were. From the beginning, living in towns that frowned at our hand holding, folding their stairs like hate notes into our pockets so we could pretend they weren't there. You said fear is only a verb if you let it be. Don't you dare let go of my hand. That was my favorite line. That in the time when we saw two boys kissing on the street in Kansas. We both broke down crying because it was Kansas. And you said, what are the chances of seeing anything but corn in Kansas? We were born again that day. I cut your cord and you cut mine. And the cords of time played like a concerto of hope. Like we could feel the rope unwind. The noose of hate loosening. Loosening from years of people like you aren't welcome here. People like you cannot work here. People like you cannot adopt. So we had lots of cats and dogs, and once even a couple of monkeys, you taught to sing, hey, hey, we're the monkeys. You were crazy like that. And I was so crazy about you on nights you couldn't sleep. I'd lay awake for hours counting sheep for you, and you would rewrite the rhythm of my heartbeat with the way you held me in the morning, resting your head on my chest, I swear. My breath turned silver the day your hair did. Like I swore marigolds grew in the folds of my eyelids the first time I saw you, and they bloomed the first time I watched you dance to the tune of our kitchen kettle in our living room. In a world that could have left us hard as metal, we were soft as nostalgia together. For 50 years, we feathered wings too wide to be prey, and we flew through days strong and days as fragile as sandcastles at high tide. You would fold your love into an origami firefly and throw it through my passageways till all my hidden chambers were lit with lanterns. Now every trap door of every pore my heart is open because of you, because of us. So I do, I do, I do want to be in that room with you. When visiting hours with family members only, I want to know they'll let me in. I want to know they'll let me hold you while I sing. I'm so in love with you. Baby, I'm so in love with you. Dip the dip the dip, bobby da 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 bobby